content input of the function now initial velocity and the angle at which the projectile is fired the in addition the function generator plot of the trajectory okay so here Calculate, do this cat create a function that do some calculations about a projectile. Okay, so here you have learned in high school about this projectile, so you, we call them cut shift. Okay, so you have you can do the same calculation here and then convert into a program or a function okay so we have this ground and you will be given the value of the velocity this thing is fired and the angle theta no so this v and the angle theta is given okay what are the things you have to calculate you have to calculate so what happens when you shoot it it keep going and it's it has two velocity components no horizontal velocity and a vertical vertical velocity components start decreasing and become zero no so at that point projectile start to co climb down until that it keep climbing up after the velocity becomes zero it's going to go down okay so it reach a maximum height in this process so it keep climbing up and project velocity becomes zero starts to go down okay so it's actually it should look like this it's symmetric now in the middle exactly it reached the maximum height okay i will say h max okay maximum height i want to my function have to calculate this maximum height and the total travel distance okay additionally it has to plot the part of the projectile okay so recall that First, we can divide these velocities into vertical and horizontal components. No, so the vertical and horizontal component, horizontal component. I will say this one the initial velocity. We will say v o, okay, and the horizontal component of the initial velocity. You are given the initial velocity. We say v naught, okay. V naught of x which is V naught cos theta ok so this is the horizontal component for the velocity and the vertical component to the velocity is V naught to y equals V sin theta no V o sin theta okay initial velocity this one so this is the initial velocity vertical component of the initial velocity additionally we have the gravitational pull 9.8 if we are measuring in meters okay so let's say we give meters okay now if you recall the equations regarding to this vertical component let's say v y at time t is given by what v o y this vertical component of the initial velocity minus g t no 
because at time t this is going to be decreasing according to this gravitational pull but horizontal velocity remains a constant now vx remains a constant that is v naught x is remain constant because no effect from gravity on the horizontal direction okay so then at time t position let's say y at time t or vertical position if it time t here this is going on px and vy and position xy no okay vy okay. so this y vertical position is given by this formula okay these formulas you learned in a levels b naught T B not Y T minus half T T squared no this is the vertical position and the horizontal position at time T is given by X equal to V or x times t no because the velocity is constant okay so how do we find the maximum height we can first find the time for the maximum height no because maximum height we know vertical velocity becomes zero okay because it keeps climbing up velocity becomes zero before starting fall down start fall down so at the maximum height velocity is zero so I can plug in in t here vy equals zero in this guy and solve for t no so if I do that I can get the time I will say th max time for maximum height here taking this dt to this side and dividing by T no so it's V not or okay now H max maximum height that is what I want no X max one of the things I want is given by plugging in this t value for this y no plugging in t value for y gives me maximum height okay if you plug in this one here for t both t's and simplify you will get over 2 g ok now to get the total distance I need the time for the total distance you know? time is the total distance if I say t time for total distance is 2 times time to the th max no okay time for twice the time for the distance and then maximum distance I will call it d okay it's given by v naught x plugging in this t 
for here I will say key thought okay so now I will go and show you the function where I wrote using DC equations. Okay, we will see how to write the function. Recall that if you have a comp by logging in. Okay, let me see. There is a problem. Okay. So we can just get log into MATLAB. Okay, this is the function I No? total distance and the maximum height ok so this is the name of the function I chose trajectory ok and the two output values we use this notation and the function keyword ok and then the velocity v0 and the angle theta okay. this completes the header so now I try to I start to write the code ok so the velocity v0, initial velocity v0 and theta in degrees will be feed into this function as input. Okay. So we need a constant g 9.81. For our calculation I start by setting up that value. Okay. First the constant value of g 9.81. Then I need to find vx. No? Vx is V0 times cos theta. V0 is the initial velocity we feed into the function and cos theta, but I recall that this cos requires the input in I'm giving input in uh, theta in degrees, so I convert to radian here. So you could use cos d here for degrees, okay? And skip function, I use the conversion here theta divided by pi over 180 okay so this one calculates the initial velocity horizontal version okay the horizontal component that is this one vx cos theta that equation okay I cannot do underscore v0 I, I mean subscript so I just wrote v0 x ok then v0y is v0 sin theta again I do the conversion for radian here ok then the t max value that is v0 vertical component divided by g no that is the equation i obtained here t max okay v naught vertical component divided by g so i know the value of v naught y from here i just dividing it by g here okay so h max is something i should return no function should return no no i'm sorry then Okay, so this is also we construct the equation here, this equation, H max equation using that I calculate V naught H max no divided by 2G. Okay. 
So that is something I should return. So that is h max I am assigning into this h max value, no? Okay. Then the total time, two times the time takes for that h max, and then other one I v not takes two times the uh, sometimes the total time, no? This is the horizontal distance, where horizontal velocity times the total time, okay? That is the equation here, okay? So this one, now this function up to now returns the maximum distance, uh, distance and the maximum height. Okay. Now I need to create the plot. To plot, create the plot, I need a vector, no? So vectors, two vectors, time vector, and then x and y for each time. Okay. So first I create a time vector. I use from zero to total time. Okay, because this is the total time. See, total time, I'm use dividing it to equal 200 equal points using bin space. Okay. Then, I say x is v naught time time, no? That is this equation x equals the horizontal component times time okay so it will create for each time it will give me initial velocity so horizontal position then i calculate horizontal position y using this equation for time t okay that is this equation here Okay. So it's important to observe that here when I'm using the equation, this t is a vector. When I'm squaring time, I have to use dot here. Okay, because it, I have to square element wise. Okay. So at time t, I know the position x and y. So I plot x against y, I get the required graph, okay. I will also use a x label for x axis like this. These two will go as labels, okay, y label for y axis and a type P, okay, projectiles trajectory. Okay, title for the graph. So this one will go as my x label, and this one will go as my y label, and this one will go as my title of the graph. Okay, so to run this function, I save it called using the same name trajectory.m. Okay, so then I can call it using this name. Okay. So to f store two variables here, distance and maximum, distance and this, I will use two variables when I'm calling the function. I need to retrieve both, no? So here h and b, those are to get the two returning value, height and the distance. And here I'm doing trajectory okay I can pass a velocity speed okay let's say we do two two hundred and thirty meters per time and degrees in angle sixty okay now I want to see the output values return values so I will not put a semicolon here 
I enter this you can see the H value maximum height is this amount and maximum distance covered by is this one and also you can see the projectiles graph nicely okay distance M and height okay you can change the angle and the speed and see for different values okay for example I can go speed 40 and angle 60 I use the dot by mistake, sorry. And that's 60. I want to see the output, so I give it. So here, you can see the maximum height, 61 meters, and the total distance, 140. 1 meters no and also this is the graph of the projectile so you can change the angle and do different plots and see if I want okay so I want to keep the whole same one I can use on I can do another one with the same speed but the angle 45 ok you can see that new graph is here old graph is here no? angle 45 you will get the di maximum difference I use hold on because I want to keep the previous graph ok N now you can go different angles and see if I do 30 ok so you can see this for different angles there is one thing I want to show you what happens if I use 90 degrees that means I am just shooting it directly ok so it will go directly up and come down ok so it along this axis but if you look at this one ok displacement should be 0 no? ok but if you run it it will show a very small displacement so e to the negative 14 this is due to round of error ok actually it should be 0 ok so if you have any questions about this you can ask me